defining union types in TypeScript. Union types are a way of defining several types that can be assigned to a variable. Now let's see how can we do that. Here is the syntax. Let var followed by colon and then the types. Each type has to be separated by the vertical bar character. For example, here in this value, we can assign a string type value or number type value. Let's see this in action in our editor. So here I am with the code from my previous lesson. Let's see how the union types work. Now here in this editor, I'll use this player variable to demonstrate the union types. Let's say I'll change this player name types to have a string type or the number type values. So here I have defined my union type variable and have assigned a string value to it. Now when I try to change the player name to have a number value, the compiler doesn't complain. However, if I assign a boolean value to it, say true, I get an error. It says boolean type is not assignable to type string or number. So the acceptable values are limited to the types mentioned in the union. I'll remove this for now. Now there might be case where depending on the type of values that a variable has, we might want to perform different operations with it. One of TypeScript compiler's property is control flow based analysis. Here, the conditional behavior of our code is taken into consideration. I have the player name variable to be union of number and string type here. Now let me just add a block of code to show the control flow based analysis performed by the compiler. Now here I have this code. Here I'm using the type of operator to find the type of the variable. I have written the variable player name here. Now I'm just using this code to show you how the flow works. It's not important what we do with the variable at this moment. When I hover over the player name, it doesn't show me the union type here. It just show me the type to be of number. When I comment this out, now the player name has the string value. And when I hover over it, the type inference gives me the type of the player name as string. Moving inside the if block, here the player name is string, whereas here in the else block, the player name is never. Never means this variable is never used. If I uncomment this and check it here, it is of number type. Hence, the type of this variable in the if block is never, whereas in the else block, the player name of number type is used. The compiler has narrowed down this variable down to the more specific types. However, outside the block here where I have defined it, it is still the union type, string or number. I don't need all this code, so I'll just remove it and change this variable declaration to what it was. So in JavaScript, we can assign the null and undefined values to any variable, but it is otherwise in TypeScript. Null and undefined values causes a lot of bugs. In TypeScript, if we want a variable to have the null or undefined type as a value, we use strict null checks compiler option. Let us check it out now.